It's been fascinating because, you know, the projects are at different stages and, you know, part of it is like how to present a project. So um, you're like wearing two hats, you know, like there's the film that sometimes people have shot quite a lot, sometimes they're just starting <clears throat> and there's still lots of uncertainties, as I think there should be about filmmaking, you know, you're always reevaluating it. So you're kind of trying to balance um, giving them confidence to uh, think about how to sell their project to people that have money so they can actually have the resources to do what they want to do. Um, so there's that side of it, which is, you know, it's, it's a specialist kind of thing to sell a project. Um, and maybe you're even sort of um, making big compromises in that, you know. Um, and then also not losing sight of, of the film which will come in the future and all the questions around that. So I'm kind of talking to the students a lot, or to the to the participants a lot about, okay, let's treat the pitch and the, the trailers and the presentation as one thing, and then we can have bigger discussions around the film in terms of what direction the film might go in as well, but not to mix the two things up, because I think that it's, you know, it's a very sort of particular thing to sell a project, and also very different from the film that you might make later on, you know. I'm not sure like what it means, but all I know is that if I didn't do it, I would be totally lost, because it's, it's totally, for me, a way of engaging in the world. And, you know, it's, 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 I've never seen it as a job. Of course it's a job, in terms of, like, that's what I do, and it's my work, and I get paid for it. Um, but, you know, when I wake up in the morning, and if I don't have um, uh, films to think about, either one that I'm making in the middle of making, or one that I'm editing, or, you know, in, the, in a sort of periods where I'm not making a film and thinking about what to do next, it's kind of like a total energy and fuel for, for my existence, you know? I mean, I have family, I have kids, and that's, that's kind of one thing, but also it's not, for me, it's like not enough. I need to, you know, I need to feel like I'm creating something, you know? And it's kind of um, a blessing and a curse, you know, because sometimes I meet people who are just happy to wake up and do yoga every morning and, and be in the moment and think about not very much, or seemingly not very much, but for me it's like really a way to kind of connect, I think, and to feel like I'm making sense of the world in which I live, you know. If you're making films um, and you treat it as a sort of an art form and you're doing it primarily for yourself because you need to express something and your kind of all your energies and sort of ambitions are going into that piece of work, then you need to absolutely kind of stay true to your vision and you'll get so many voices coming in saying, no, do it like this, or you're not gonna get money for that, or this is how it should be, and this is what's going on in the world of filmmaking, and you need to follow these trends, you know. You need to be able to sort of sweep all of that aside. And the, and the most important thing for me is to take a risk, you know, and not just be inspired by what's come before, be influenced by what's come before, but to make it your own, you know. Otherwise, we're just repeating the same things over and over again.